Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we have something a bit special. We have been sent the Inpiray P2 Pro thermal camera for iOS. Uh, so this basically plugs into your phone and gives you thermal imaging that you can use for SMD repair. So we're going to check it out and see what it can do. So what's in the box? Slowly, slowly. Ta-da! Okay, right. So we've got a little Inpiray bag, a document wallet. Looks like it's got the instructions in there. And ooh, what have we got here? We have got the Inpiray module, which plugs into your iPhone. This plugs into your iPhone, and then the thermal imager there is the, the black round circle you see. Um, and it's also got something else, which is this. I don't know what this is. Uh, it must be some other kind of lens or something. So, uh, this is the Inpiray module. Let's just read the instructions and see uh, what we have to do. Uh, software installation, device connection, make sure on the go. Mm, sounds like this is generic because obviously there's no on the go in iOS. Uh, must be iOS 11 or later. Um, the lens should not point to the sun or other hot sources directly during use or storage due to the characteristics of the infrared devices. The product should be avoided from moisture and water. Okay. Please try to keep the equipment stable when using and avoid violent shaking or collision. Please store properly after use. Avoid hard objects touching the lens part of the product to avoid lens damage. Please do not violently disassemble the product to avoid equipment failure. Okay. Okay, let's plug it into my iPhone and see what it does. App not installed. Okay, let's install the app. Well, if that's all you have to do, that is a pretty straightforward installation process. Perfect. So let's have a look. Easy mode, settings, pro mode. Let's have a look at the instructions on the app. So easy mode, simple temperature measurement mode, support image calibration, photography, video recording, change color swatch, and other functions. Nice. Settings, you can open the professional temperature measurement mode in the settings in the upper right corner. Pro mode, professional temperature measurement mode, providing more temperature measurement solutions. More functions, support screen rotation, temperature zoom, zone switching, image setting, environment variables correction, and other functions. Image processing, photo support sharing, secondary editing, output report, and other functions. More features, start your infrared journey. Start now. Uh, right, so we've switched it on, um, and it's got a few modes here that we can choose from. We're most used to seeing, oh, look at that. We're most used to seeing purple with yellow hands and red bits being warm. Let's just see if you can see that on there. Looks good. Oh, look, and it can see my residual handprint on the screen there. Can you see that? So there's my, my actual hand, residual hand. So it's quite temperature sensitive. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, so this is the uh, MP Ray camera plugged into the, my iPhone 11 here. Uh, and you can see my face. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's not, the detail is not bad. My head is very hot. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, what this shows us when we look at, say, something electronic. Like we've got a Nintendo Switch here. Uh, and we'll plug the power into the switch and then see uh, what the infrared camera shows us. So we've got a Nintendo Switch here with the motherboard exposed. Uh, and let's see what happens when we plug the charger into this uh, and see what happens on the camera. If we take a look first at the camera, 
can see my hand reflected actually in the actual metals of this is just so cool so this is my hand is held above you can see here I'm holding my hand above the switch and it's detecting the heat in my hand from the reflections on the metal sheath the metal shroud um, that covers the CPU so that's you know it's crazy if I you can see if I change the angle here then uh, there's nothing on the board that's getting warm um, but if we plug in uh, I'm going to record this on the camera as well. If we plug in our charger, then immediately we get a hotspot. Uh, and that is the um, BQ chip which controls the charging. So that is always going to get hot. Um, it's not particularly hot to the touch, it's only warm. So if I imagine if I put my finger next to it, it's going to be about the same temperature. So we can easily identify straight away uh, a hot component. So that shows the um, capability of detecting uh, shorted components on a logic board. And I'll put my hand on the board to sort of equalize the temperature. I'll cool the chip down with my breath. And everything seems to be a kind of um, uniform temperature now like so okay so we you know this works really really well you can see from there really good detail on my hand and you can see the components on the board so just as you know just as a standard sort of thermal camera it's very good and the refresh rate is very good as well we've got another thermal camera that we use that is uh, compatible with iOS and that is a seek thermal camera uh, but that frame rate on that is about seven frames a second, so it's really like slow, slow updates. Whereas this, I mean, you know, this looks 30 frames a second to me. I mean, it certainly feels fluid. Uh, so that's really, really good. Uh, and it's obviously going to help identify those components that are um, a problem. So we've got this extra lens here. I don't know what it does, um, but we'll fit it and see um, what else we can do with it. And it just fits on magnetically, so that's really easy. Uh, and okay, oh, it's made things, it's made things a bit blurry. If you look at my hand there, yeah, it's made things a bit blurry. Um, okay, so maybe, um, maybe it's got another function. Let's plug in that power connector again and see what we can see. So we can see again. That hot spot where the BQ chip. Oh look, look! Oh my goodness! So I mean, just look at that. You know, we can see clearly that that chip, that IC, is getting hot. So, so if we had a blown capacitor on the board, or any other component that was shorted out and getting hot, you could easily identify that component with this uh, infrared camera this thermal camera it's just it's staggering the quality is actually staggering what a brilliant idea putting this lens on it so I've got a uh, a spudger here and we can easily you know that's that's a that, that's oh my god it's just so good so these are capacitors you can see the black bits are like the the uh, metal bits that are reflecting light basically That is crazy. It's almost like it's got a camera mode linked to the thermal camera. So it's got almost two lenses in one. But I think it is all just on this thermal lens. It's really, really good. So that is the Infiray thermal imaging camera for iOS. It is a brilliant little device. I am really impressed with it. Um, compared to the devices that we currently use that are a few years old, it is head and shoulders above. The frame rate is 25 FPS, so it's like watching a movie. It looks buttery smooth, absolutely brilliant. Uh, but what really sets this apart is this, this amazing little macro lens. When you attach this, you can see every detail, every single detail of a logic board, every tiny component, 0201s, 0402s, everything. 
you can see everything in absolute perfect detail. It's brilliant. If you're into SMD repair, you need one of these, an NP-Ray thermal imaging camera. I recommend it. Oh, yeah. Did you have the no, light on or off? Now, now, now you look like you sell um, the best crystal meth in the US. In the US. Nice. 